Slow it down now. Slow it down. Oh my god. So in the video we caught those lake runners to put in the pool pond. Uh, caught a handful of really nice bluegill. And um, Frank's making all kinds of noise. With you want the, to stop walking while you do the He's making all kinds of, no, it's cool. It's cool, I'm just trying to make a video, Frank. It's, it's, it's no big deal. Anyway, caught a bunch of decent sized bluegill, decent sized perch, even some uh, decent sized, uh, what you call those things, Texas blues, Rio Grande cichlids, whatever you want to call them. And in the comments below, people saying, man, I'd have kept those, I'd have fried them up. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cook today, catch clean cook, but not just any catch clean cook. We're gonna set up right by the water, pull them straight out the water into the frying pan. You know what I'm saying? I hadn't seen any signs saying that we couldn't do that. So hopefully we don't get kicked out. We'll figure it out, got everything. Well, Almost everything right there the rest of the stuff still in the truck so we're just gonna catch a few fish clean them up and hopefully we have lunch but just like I say in every video uh, that I've been filming lately it is summertime in Louisiana and we're probably gonna get killed by a storm so we did bring a canopy hopefully we can stay dry I ain't gonna do much with the lightning situation but we'll see what happens and and as you can see right there uh, we probably don't have that long before that happens so we're gonna get set up and uh, try and get the fish See, this is why we can't have nice things. But what is, what is going on here? They just finished building this thing and it's already broke. The water is a lot lower than it was last time I was out here. This is where they was at, the biggins. But look at that. He's on. Oh, got us a blue. Got that cichlid first cast. If you could call that a cast. All right, little buddy, your catfish bait. Again, if you didn't see that video, these are invasive species. They eat all the fish eggs. They're freaking uh, more competitive than our native bluegill and perch species so wildlife says you cannot throw them back in the water so i have these things so. there you go and he took the worm so and just a little tip if y'all gonna fish for bluegill it's best to get red worms instead of uh night crawlers because they stay on the hook a lot longer stay on the hook a lot better i find that the night crawlers are much better for if you want to you know live bait for bass or catfish something like that but they didn't have any red worms where we were at so we got the earthworms and obviously not earthworms I just said it. What's it called? Night crawlers. Night crawlers. Yeah, there we go. But they will catch fish. They just don't stay on the hook as long as the red worms do. The red worms, I can catch quite a few fish on the same worm most of the time. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Is he on? Nope. Oh, he's back. Kind of up against the clock here, uh, fish. Oh, ain't got a worm. See what I mean? Whew, it's hotter than the devil's armpits in the sauna. Doesn't smell much better either. But we're going to come over here by this uh, culvert right here where the water's dumping out. And you, whew, yeah, you can see the water's way lower. See if they got anything kicking around over here since the other side, they just not hitting like they were the last time we were out here, so. And no. Daggummit, that's why I hate these daggum night crawlers. Oh yeah, there you go. Cause that's where the fish are, setting on your GoPro. Ooh, I think that was a bass. Little bit baby bass. Little bit baby bass. Cheeks on. All right, if that was a baby bass, this ought to get him. Come here, baby bass. Daggummit! Come on, anybody? Somebody, anybody? No. Something, see, something's hitting right there. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. It's a sick one. Yep, it's a nice one. Throw him in the ice chest. I threw that other one in the ice chest, too. We gotta kill him anyway, might as well eat him. Last time I was out here, we'd have caught a million of them by now. Frank's bad luck. Look at him. Starting to think maybe I'm bad luck. Look at him over there, just being bad luck. crap i don't know what that was but it like the ripped the rod out my hand can't even talk good something smacked the crap out of this thing holy moly 
Wasn't expecting that. Jeez, um. Hopefully he comes back. No. Dude, where are all the fish? Never fishing with Frank again. Woo, the wind's picking up. Oh, that storm about to kill us. About to get us. So anyway, I rigged up a little drop shot type rig on my here uh, spinning reel. And we're going to go ahead and try and dangle out there for a catfish while waiting for these perch to bite. And like, I, ooh, man, yeah, I need to go to ice chest. They're getting a little, a little, uh, a little wrinkly. Like they, like they about to die. I'm gonna die. I'm going to toss that out there. Let that sit with the drag reel loose so that the fish don't steal my fishing pole when I'm not paying attention. And we're gonna go try and catch ourselves a catfish while waiting for the perch to bite. I said that already, but now you know for sure. So I'm gonna use a whole night crawler for this. And we're just gonna wrap it on, on this, this here hook a few times. Make sure he's good and thick on there. Now this isn't exactly the ideal hook. I wish I would've had a circle hook. Frank, do you have any circle hooks on you? There you go. I have a nut. Uh, this is a family show, Frank. All right. Ooh, I'm hearing the thunder. Oh yeah, it's looking good back there and it's heading right for us. Give the sucker a big toss. I think I want it over yonder where them pilings are. Something just tells me that that's a good spot. Something tells me that that wasn't fur enough. Should have cast it a feather. Let me go ahead and cast that feather just to make me feel better. Oh, I just swung at least half the worm off. Dang it. Hopefully it's still some worm left on there. I'm gonna stick it through this here tripod. That's probably a terrible idea. Yeah, we'll lose the camera and the fishing pole at the same time. Something gets on that, we ought to hear it. We ain't gonna be able to pull the pole. In theory. All right, I guess we ought to stay close to this thing because if it starts going on, we're gonna have to go run and grab it. So I'm gonna fish right here from behind. Oh. Almost lost our worm to a plant. Yeah, gross. Closest lightning strike, 10 miles. Be careful, a storm! Says it right there. Oh, I felt a raindrop. Oh, dear Lord, look at that. Ain't looking too good, fellas. Ain't looking too good. Nothing. This line ain't nowhere near where it was. Let's see. Can I hold up? Nothing. Something was on it. It had eat up that line. tiny that is and it's another cichlid so unfortunately you can't go back alive and you're a little bit too small to eat so you might end up being catfish bait buddy and here come the rain i gotta get under that shelter sugar melt you know what i mean dang it i'm gonna have to get wet to go get my cork dang it drop it i'm gonna pop it ah, i knew it i just said it and it happened Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead and splash. Make fun of me. I see how you are. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Sure. The battery at all with nothing hooked to it. Yeah. Oh, what an idiot. What a cool yarn. I just did what I made fun of Frank for doing. Look at that. <laughs> Threw it over my line. I was wondering what happened while I was sitting up there. Thought it was some kind of magic or something. Oh, that might be a decent one. That might be a decent one. Nope. There we go. Dang gum it. Another, Another sick that we're gonna be eating good. We just not gonna be eating what we're trying to get. But that's all right, we're gonna take it. Getting rid of invasive species and making a meal at the same time. And what we got? Another blue. Dad gum it. Oh, almost did the daggum thing again. Pay attention, Vinny. Jeez, what's the matter for you? Oh, oh, what we got? That's something different. Oh, it's one of them little bit baby bass. Oh, hey, buddy. All right, dude, hold on. Hold on, we'll get you back in the water. Here you go. Little baby bass. Go grow some more. I'm going to catch you next year. That must have been what yanked down my cork a second ago. Oh, that looks big. Bigger. I want to go in the ice chest. We can eat him. Get a little filet off of him. Look at the little teeth they got. You see the teeth? I didn't even notice that before. And no. And look, I have a uh, pick clean. All right, so I got one of the little baby cichlids that we had caught and 
throwing on the ground. I'm gonna throw him out there. A little dead bait, see what happens. Cause they sure are getting in worms a little too easy. I think I just slung my weight. Did that just happen? Uh, I don't know if that was the weight or the uh... or the fish flew, huh? All right, so I'm not gonna use that cichlid, is what I was trying to say. Mm. Hmm. I think I sent her a little too hard, bud. All right, let's try this one more again. There we go. All right, drag set real loose. That way he won't take our pole, but we'll hear him running. In theory, again. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh, oh, we got something. We got something, unless he just came off. Oh, nope, we got something on there, boys. We got something on there, boys. We got something on there, boys. We got something. We got something. Oh, it's a garfish. <laughs> that thing just porpoised out of the water. It's amazing. Try and get him up here without breaking the rod or the line. Come here, buddy. Come here, buddy. I'm hung up on something. He's hung up on something. Come here, there we go, there we go. Uh, all right, well, there's a garfish. Not at all what we were looking for, but there he is. Oh, look, the hook came out already. He's just tired, tangled up, it looks like. He tangled himself up. There we go, yep. No longer hooked. Things are surprisingly hard to hook, actually, with their bony mouth. Come here, Bubba. There we go. Throwing him back. Look at that guy. I'm thinking about it. Yeah. Oh! oh, oh. <laughs> right in the man berries. Try not to hit me in the man parts again. All right, there we go. Got you now. You ain't going nowhere. All right. All right, buddy. Be free. Oh. Here he goes. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, geez. I mean, as soon as it hit the water. Oh, we actually got a bluegill. Too small to eat, but it's a bluegill. That's the first one, huh? I think everything else has been... The cichlids. The cichlids. That's a good sign. Maybe we can get a big one. Maybe they'll start getting fired up with this little drizzle we got going on. Come on now. I mean, that hit as soon as it hit the water, it went down. Oh, look. Look, there it goes again. Oh. Fish on. Cichlids. Unfortunately, it's not quite big enough to where you know, get a decent piece of meat off of it. And not quite small enough to throw on a hook. So we're just gonna go ahead and throw them in the ice chest and eat them anyway. Can you open that lid right fast? Try my basketball skills. Terrible basketball skills. I'm not even wiping my hands anymore. Here we go. Got another one. Boy, they're on fire right now. Yeah. Not gonna have big pieces of meat, but we're gonna have a lot of them. I hope that ain't coming this way. Oh, what that is. There's another sick one. Toss him on the side right there. He about to be bait. Hello. That looks pretty rough. I don't know if I'm ready to brave this. That looks uh looking pretty dark over there, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so two things I didn't want to happen with this storm that might be rolling in right behind us. One, I don't like large bolts of electricity going through my body. I hear that's bad for it. Two, if you ever had water splash on hot grease, it's quite a disaster. So we're moving in here. We're getting everything set up under here so that when the storm comes, listen to the thunder. In case you thought I was lying. We're gonna go ahead and clean the fish, batter them up, toss them in the old frying pan, fry them up, and we're gonna have ourselves a little lunch. And by little lunch, I mean little lunch. Cause that's all we caught. tank to work so we can't get the stove to light so Frank went run up to the store hopefully we can get some charcoal maybe but a lot of good that's gonna do with it being all wet so I don't know what we're gonna do we're gonna still figure it out we're gonna 
cook these things, by golly. The last thing I do. Fortunately, we couldn't do the on-site catch clean cook. I mean, technically this is on-site still because that little opening in the trees right there is right there where the canal is. I don't know, we're gonna get it figured out. Stay tuned. What you got there, bud? Some charcoal. But, did you notice that? Oh, we got a solution for that, don't you worry. I've been pondering. <laughs> Oh, I did buy a lighter fluid too. Oh, really? No. Let's see if we can't get that lit first. I think that's more than one. Six ounces? <laughs> one point six ounces. Oh, I thought you said per six pound. ounces. Per pound. Per pound. Okay, I thought it was gonna explode. <laughs> Oh, it's that easy, like, uh, wow. the one that doesn't do woof. Oh, me, yeah. I like that, yeah. All right, y'all, while we're getting that, uh, charcoal heated up, gotta go ahead and prep our massive stack of fillets we got right here. Now all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take me another bag right here. And I know a lot of people like to use egg wash and that stuff, but all I need is a little bit of mustard. I take this here mustard, squirt it in the bag like that. That's probably way more than I needed, but that's all right. I'll slap these in there, like so. Frank's gonna smush them all around in there, get them all nice and coated like, while I take some of this here fish raw. And we got the crispy Southern style. Fish fry by Zataran. Dump it in right there. A little bit of that is probably all we need. I'll take a little of that slap your mama's Creole seasoning. You can use any kind of Cajun Creole seasoning you like. Can't go wrong with that slap your mama. That ought to be good. Now we're gonna take these fillets. And the key to all of this is make sure you don't, you just, you don't wash your hands when you start cooking after you've been fishing and you're doing a catch clean cook on site, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna throw these little bitty bad boys in there. Ooh, that mustard smells good. It smells like food. Probably should have got Frank to pick up some hot dogs or some hamburgers while he was at the store getting the charcoal, because I don't think, I don't, I don't think this is gonna fill us up. That's a pretty good mustard. Let's get that grease heated up. Oh, I guess I gotta mix this up first too, huh? Getting ahead of myself. There we go, we're just gonna let that sit in the batter while we get that grease heated up. And I'll pick y'all back up when it's time. I think we're ready, y'all. I can hear it sizzling and popping, the little pieces of water that was in there. Let's give it a little test run. Just dip the toe in and see. Ooh, I don't know. I think it could have been a little bit hotter. Whoa, no, no, mm, maybe that's good. It's just gonna have to be good. Oh, man, this one don't have it all on it. It's come out half naked. Oh, wait, oh, oh, almost lost this little nugget right there. Uh, I think that's it. Nice and crispy looking, some golden brown right here. I'm gonna put it on our nice little coon ash tray. Oh, oh, oh. that looks good. Mmm, smells good, looks good. Now we're gonna let that cool off. Slide this pan out the way so it gets cool by the time it's time to leave. At least I hope. All right, let's let it go uh, cool off a little bit. We're gonna have that. All right, I think they done cooled off enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab me a piece. A little bigger of a piece right there. Oh, nope. <laughs> Still hot. Give me a second. All right, let's try that again. There we go. Frank, grab you a piece, even though you already grabbed a piece for his video. <laughs> Got there before I did, but uh. There's like a little bluegill to me. Tastes just fine. Now with a piece that small, obviously you get mostly batter. But it still tastes pretty good. And I can hear all y'all saying right now, why didn't you just scale it and fry it whole? Cause I don't like that. I don't like my food looking at me. And I don't like all the bones. So I'm not. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. So if you find yourself catching a bunch of those where they're invasive, go ahead and keep them. Throw them in ice, just filet them, fry them whole, however you want to do it. They taste pretty good. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you click this video when Frank and I went and caught some more of these things, but for a different purpose. But again, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button if you liked it. Subscribe if you have it. And we'll catch you on the next one.